guys again welcome again to my channel again uh, I'm here on our shop uh, we we are uh, looking again for uh, uh, another interesting thing that we are uh, uh, doing on our shop let's keep on watching guys but before that if you are uh, new to my channel don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe and also don't forget to uh, click the bell button and select all so that you can be notified for all the new videos that I uh, upload so guys keep on watching so that you can see another interesting things that we are do on uh, our uh, shop thank you guys hello mong Adja. this video is show you how how we fix the impeller this kind of impeller to its rotor that's the rotor as you can see as you can see on the center that is the stud that is the stud hmm. then we will fix this rotor once it's hot now ah impeller fix we put the pull inside the pull inside the pin so we need to put the pin inside okay again come back come back here's my magnet use any other ah this is this okay as you can see the pin is already use double check it use the other hand okay good yes it's good we need to put inside and no it's okay it's okay put the envelope ah okay then here eh? okay. <clears throat> so we can put now the impeller it's hot you need to do it in a fast way so that the impeller takes firm once once it's still uh, hot then we will try to use some shim on that particular area that particular area so that we can see if there's a gap between the impeller and the rotor between the rotor and the impeller if there's any gap on the impeller and rotor it will not uh, balance it in a good way <coughs> so we just wait to get the uh, cold this after that we will do the balancing again that is the first uh, that that is the uh, procedure when we're doing uh, impeller and rotor assembly. And now, guys, so we are still here. So maybe someone of you asking why do we need to balance this kind of rotor? Is this is the uh, same things like any shop that uh, in uh, any motor if we if we do not balance any kind of shop like this or in any kind of shop of the motor it will give you when you fix it it will give you a high vibration that high vibration uh, it will lead you to 
damage the whole machine so that's why what we need to do is to balance this rotor together before we need to fix it it's a shop before we need to fix so that there it will not build a high vibration once once we fix it on the machine on the machine that is, that is uh, the answer to the questions if you someone of you is an, uh, quest, uh, asking why do we need to balance this kind of rotor